back with another video if you want to know how to get these dreads from mini braids micro braids your own braids however you want to do it stay tuned look at this stay tuned dreadhead fake dreadhead whatever you want to call it faux locks stay tuned okay so i'm gonna come say this now there's several ways of doing your locks when you you got this type the wraparound i call it the wraparound i don't know what y'all call it that's what i call it wraparound you can either braid your hair down some wrap around or you can use fake hair and braid it with your hair some people even take which i don't think is like um the twisty hair it's different types of hair but i'll show you in this video what type of hair i use i prefer using my hair braided whether it's my hair braided or whatever some people twist it which i don't think is as secure as when you braid it because you have to crochet the hair in so think about it it's just twisted it's pulling down i know once you you do it it's kind of holding it in there but I, I just don't trust that i don't trust a lot of stuff that i see people doing because i'm not trying to be walking around with my hair falling out my head so that's why i mainly do my own hair when it comes to certain things because certain things i don't trust but anyway y'all go ahead and get into it so y'all it's early in the morning so excuse my voice and then you know i got my retainers in so i'm gonna sound like i'm you know but so i want to come show y'all how to change my mini braids into locks so these are my my braids Just so you get the gist of what they look like. These are my braids. See how the ends are curled and stuff like that? This is how the locks look. I'm not trying to make them all exactly the same size. I want them to look real. And I want the ends to be loose like that so I can wet them and they curl up and stuff. I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show y'all. But I had to come on here and go ahead and show y'all. Where I was so y'all know what the little mini braids look like and stuff like that. So I'm going to get started with this and I'm going to come back and show y'all how to do it. And I'm going to talk to y'all about why I did what I did, how the whole process of getting to this point. But anyway, I'll be back. Anyway, my lighting ain't all that good, but um, I got like three that I'm going to do for you guys. Um, Like I said, this is the hair that I use. I have it in my store. You guys can go get that. I use different kinds of wrap lotion. I don't stick with just one, but this is one of the main ones I use. This one, and I use um, Nairobi too. So, you want to take some of the hair, and you want to crochet it in. I got like a thousand and one of these crochet hooks. Um, I'll put it in my store too, and you usually go in. I usually go in through the side. You can go up, you can go down, you can go from the other side. I'm just showing y'all how I do it. Now I do this and I put it on the hook. I pull it through. See me looking over here, I'm looking at my mirror. Pull it out the hook, open it up. Now what I usually do, I usually pull one side of the hair through like this. Now some people They'll go and they'll take all of this hair and they'll twist it. Me, I don't. I usually pull it all the way like this to see how long it is. I want it to be right above the part that I want curly at the bottom, like this. And then I take a piece of the actual hair from over here that's going to be with the braid and pull it over here. So I want to make sure it's long enough. And then I do this. So I got most of the hair over here. And then I take it and I Twist it over like this. Take it and twist it over again. Twist it over again. So that's at the root of it. Because you remember, I got new growth at my root. I got new growth. Now, if it's new braids, you don't have to twist it as much. But because I got new growth, I want it to be as thick as the braid. I do it like two or three times. And I go. And I start going down. Now, one thing you want to do if you want the silky look. You want to make sure it's straightened out as you're going. Me, I kind of want the rough look, so 
I'm not straightening as much. I want it to be looking rough. And you just keep going down like this. Keep going. Now, if you got hair and it's not long enough, you might have to add some hair. Me, for the most part, I don't usually have to add hair because I buy the 16 inch hair. So it's usually long enough because my braid, I use the 16 inch hair. So therefore it's gonna be long enough to you know, do this or whatever. I don't make my dreads uniform because I don't want it to be. See the little imperfections and stuff like that? I want that. So you see this? I'm almost to the end. Because that's the part I want to be out. And that's another reason why I like the braid to be as long as my dread is going to be. So I do that. Then it's like this. And I take a piece of this hair. So I got this piece here. So you guys can see the difference. I'm going to put it in my mouth. Hold on. And you got this other piece that's left out. And I pulled apart. And you want to tie a knot with it right at the end where you stop twisting. You want to pull it back with the other piece of hair. Now me, I go back up with it. Like that. So the reason why I pull my hair like I do is because I want to have a little skinny piece at the end like this. So that way I can do this. Now some people tie it off and just cut that piece off or let it hang down or whatever they want to do. I go back up with mine. Then now you got the end like that. You can either leave it like that, or you can take it apart like I do sometimes. I take and comb it out. You can leave it like that if you want to, which is which is cool. But I like mine to be different ways. Sometimes I leave the twist in there, sometimes I comb it out like that. Then I take my wrap lotion. Do just like that. I twist the end because if you look at one over here it's actually twisted like that some of the other ones is like that different looks because I want it to be like free form dreads by the time I'm finished wearing it for a while so then you have that you can do this to it kind of heat it up a little bit to kind of get that hair you don't twist it up there stay up there and there you go Okay, so I'm going to do another one. But let me open my pack because I, I used two packs on everything I got done now. I have a total of 100 and, 101 that I've done. I got two left, so it'll be 103 dreads that I have. So, 101 dreads I did out of two packs of this. Now, I'm going to show y'all something now. I messed up a lot of the hair, so I probably could have done it. See that? I probably could have done it out of two packs of hair, but I messed up a lot of the hair. Just trying stuff and trying to see what I can do and messing with it, starting over. Because like some of my dreads are like extra too big or too small. or I had to take a loose because I had too many dreads and I wanted to double up some of the dreads. Because you'll see in a while, I'll show you. Some of my dreads in the back is like... um. The parting is a little bit thicker because you know you don't want to have too many dreads. Okay, crochet needle. Oop. Open it up, put it on the hook, close it, pull it through, pull one side through like that. See if it's long enough. Long enough. Pull some of the hair over here like this. And that's long enough, okay? Now, you want to go this way when you're on this side. Now, the other side might be a little bit different. It's according to what you feel comfortable with. That's three. Then I start going down. Just don't take a lot. Like I said, it don't have to be uniform. 
If y'all want to know how to do like the butterfly locks with the little pieces sticking out, y'all comment down below. I'll take one of these out and I'll show y'all how it's done. I probably won't do a whole head full no time soon. You see how quick this is? This don't take no time. Your biggest part is probably going to be you braiding your hair. This is real time because you hear me talking. This is in real time. So it don't take that long to do this at all. Now see how I'm getting to the bottom and this piece is still a little bit thick. Sometimes I have to cut it a little bit. See, I want to leave that little piece out. See how much that is? That's too much. So I cut a little bit of this off shorter. Like that. Because remember, I want this long piece right here to go up the shaft. So now I'm going to move this to the side, put it in my mouth again. Mm -hmm. after not it's hard to show y'all i can do it fast without showing y'all but you know i'm trying to show y'all so then you do this go around That's one thing I've learned with doing this is if you don't do it quickly, all this process quickly, it makes it hard and it tangles and all kinds of stuff. It makes it hard. So there you go. And I'm going to leave that in like that. Okay, y'all. So I'm going to do this last one and um, I'm going to be talking to y'all because y'all should have it now. I'm just going to kind of show y'all how it's done. But anyway... When I had did my hair before, I only think I put the video up. I be doing videos all over the place, have them all on phones, cameras, all kind of stuff, and just be forgetting to post it. But anyway, um, I did mini twist at first. That's what I did at first. And then I didn't really like the way they looked. And then I did, I did these braids. The mini twist I had in, I think, like, not even a whole month. Probably two, three weeks, if that. And then I did these mini braids. I was like, oh, I like these. I had those in for a while. Had those in for good, hmm, probably two months. I had them in, rebraid, you know, around the edges. And I would twist them. You know how you twist, um, you know how you twist locks when you're trying to tighten them. I was doing it to my braids. And this last time that I washed them, I was like, yeah, time for me to get rid of these braids. You know, I'm getting ready to go back to work. I work for the school system, so, you know, I'm out for the summer. Of course, I go to work here and there during the summer, but not, you know, fully. So I was like, yeah, it's time to do something with those. I conditioning and everything. I was like, you know what? I want some dreads. I was going to take this hair out and then do some dreads like i normally do i said no i'm gonna do a full head of dreads using these braids i'm not wasting these braids shoot i wash them things real good condition my hair and now this is what i'm doing because normally the dreads that i do y'all i do like the soft lock dreads or the dreads that you braid onto your hair like people actually use dread extensions to actually have actual dreads I do those sometimes. And so I was like, I didn't want to take all this hair out and do all that stuff. So I was like, shoot, I'm just be smart and use the braids that I got. See how quick that knot was? Because I wasn't trying to get in the camera and show y'all. Yeah, it's a little bit easier when you're trying to focus and show somebody. But anyway, y'all knew what to do. So I was like, I'm going to just do wraparounds you know i call this wraparounds but y'all call it what y'all want to i said i'm gonna just do some wraparounds and keep the hair that i got in there it got the little end on the same type of hair it got the little uh curly piece on the end like i want it to be like 
I ain't got to go through a line. I ain't got to try to put the curly piece in there and all of that stuff. I try to take the ends of it loose and all that stuff like that. So that's why I decided to do this. And then I should have put that rinse in my hair. Can y'all see the little grays in there? But y'all know how I do. So I got one more week before I go back to work. And then um, I'm going to just put the rinse in. Like, right. y'all see this? Now I'm a little dread here, honey. I love me some dreads. I start my son's hair, put a little lock stuff in to make his look like it. But this own hair, of course. But anyway, this is what we're looking like. So I got them looking like this. See how they kind of look a little frizzy looking. That's the look I was going for. Some of y'all might want it like with sleek. Y'all see the ends of it? We're sleek. None of these are like uniform. Let me pull out to the front so y'all can see. None of this is uniform. Y'all see how some of them, I might have to cut this one because this is like actually too, too long. But none of them is like uniform. None of them is like the same exact size. You know, they're close in size or whatever. But um, this is what I was going for, honey. Now I just got to find me some styles to do it in for work. Now, that's the dreads that I usually do. You see the soft locks? Now, I usually, like, braid my hair, and then I flip it over, and I put that on the end of it. Hold on, somebody calling me. But anyway, I flip it over and put it in it, and I go up and I twist it at the top to do the rest of the dread. So, I don't have to do this full dreads. I hadn't done full, full dreads like this in a while. Or my next one is going to be... Um... These right here, but I'm gonna show you what they look like. So if you see the end right there, you take your hair and you attach it to it. The way I do it, like you can do it like for actual dreads, and people use it for actual dreads. But me, the way I do it, I braid it in. But anyway, I'll show y'all how I do that when I get it. So let me show y'all. Y'all see the price on that mug? That mug like a hundred and something dollars. And guess how much I paid for this? Like eight dollars for. $8.99 a pack. So, and I got three packs. I could have just used two, but I was messing around. So, just think about how much money I saved. And I like these. So, I think they look good. My husband is calling me, so I'm going to call y'all back. I mean, I'm going to come back. Y'all see this? Like, none of it is uniform at all. You see that? Like, none of it is uniform. Some of these I had to double up. Like, this was one braid, and I made it two and stuff like that. On the back, I made it smaller, so when I pull it up, it looks pretty good. See that? Did it so y'all can't tell, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, like I said, I want it to look like a freeform type look. So, I wasn't really worried about the parts like that. But this is what we're looking like. So, I'm coming back and I'm going to show y'all some more pictures of what, you know, it's looking like once I do what I got to do but anyway I want to come show y'all this before I got to go somewhere and all that stuff and I forget to do it because I always start my hair and forget to record it or forget to show y'all so y'all got the gist of it I'm come back and show y'all some different ways I put it up and stuff like that I'm sweating boy I'll be back let's get into it get into it get into it get into it myself I'm feeling myself Feeling my, feeling my, feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. Feeling my, feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. Feeling my, feeling my, feeling myself. I'm feeling myself.